Hi, I uh, have a lot of trouble with my old uh, furnace here, and I want to show you some uh, tips in maintaining it. Uh, yesterday the pilot light was out, and I had uh, three people tell me what I needed to do, and uh, finally I talked to an honest guy, and he told me how to replace the part, and I want to show you that today. First thing you want to do is you want to turn off your furnace. You can either do it here, or you can do it up at your thermostat. And then the workings of the thermos, or sorry, the furnace are up on the top here, and the filter usually goes in on the bottom, and your furnace will probably look different. This is a 30-year-old Borg Warner York. I'm going to remove the co cover here, and I'll show you what needed to be done. Okay, so what I did is I had to lift up on the cover here, and it comes up over this rim up here, and then once it comes up, then you just pull it off. And the furnace is uh, really simple. All it pretty much is, is it's a controller here, right here. It's hard for me to do this and show you at the same time. But the, the gas comes in on this pipe, goes into a controller. Then it has a thing called a thermal couple, and that's that wire, basically, that you see there. And that wire gets, uh, let, me, let me pull off that warning shield. You just lift up on that and you pull it out. So let me uh, do that, and I'll show you what it looks like inside. Very easy. You just lift up this metal plate, and then you can see the gas jets. Uh, another word of caution, I just put this uh, shield back in. Before you take it out, it may be hot. Mine was on, and it was warm. I could easily take it out with my hand, but your unit might be different. So um, all depends. But then uh, taking this... The outside shield off is real simple. You just lift up on it generally and pull it out. Okay? Thanks. Okay, now I've lifted the, <laughs> the plate off, <coughs> and you can <coughs> actually see into my furnace. And if I turn the light off here, you, can, you might be able to see the pilot light on. See the pilot light? The pilot light was not lighting yesterday. And what I needed was a new thermocouple. And the thermocouple is a very easy part to replace. Um, I had a couple of, I had a guy come out. He said it would be $400 to fix my furnace. Another guy said I needed a new furnace. And another guy said, hey, why don't you just have somebody come out and replace the thermocouple? And the thermocouple is this copper wire that's plugged in here. You need a 3A cinch wrench. Unscrew it from that side. And if you look, it goes back in there. It's just screwed in with another 3 8 inch to that metal plate. So what I did then is I, uh, I said, well, where am I going to get a thermocouple? It sounds really confusing. Found one at Ace Hardware Store for um, $10.88. Took me all of five minutes to install. And then you have to follow the instructions for lighting your pilot light. Every, every furnace is different. There's a little sheet over there on the wall that explains how the sequence to lighting the pilot light. Make sure you do that. And uh, basically in mine, I just, uh, this little black switch there that you might be able to see, you turn it to uh, pilot, you press it down, you light it, then when it stays lit, you flip it over to on, and then the pilot light stays on. So moral of the story is uh, $10.80 five minutes of my time. Probably took me longer to drive to Ace than anything in the whole equation. And I kept my old furnace going for maybe another year. So, anyways, thank you very much. Bye. Oh, here's what a thermocouple looks like. It's in a little box. Uh, this one here says Honeywell Universal 36 inch thermocouple. That was 1088. If you want a shorter one, you might save yourself 50 cents or so. And inside the package, this happens to be the used one, but basically it's just a copper wire that's all coiled. This part here screws into the, uh, um, screws into this metal part here, screws in here. And then, uh, then the other part, which you might have to assemble, uh, there's this piece that slides on to the end, and then, uh, the bigger piece that's behind it, but it's very easy to do. It's got a little bit of instructions on the packaging, so uh, not very complicated. Uh, if you feel game to give it a whirl, you'll save yourself uh, probably $140 because they'll charge you $150.
come out and install this, you know, at, at your uh, on, on your furnace. So, I uh, had a furnace here for uh, more than 30 years, and it's uh, not that efficient, but it works great. So, uh, talk to you later. Thanks. And then put all the parts back together, put the shield in, and then put the back on, and then make sure to turn on the switch. So, that's it. Okay, and when you put the uh, back shield back on, just make sure it lines up. Okay, and then uh, you, it slides into these tracks here. You, you basically push it into the tracks, and then just push it down. Okay, it's all ready. Now I can just turn on this, the furnace. And if it needs to, it'll, uh, it'll fire up. Thanks.